So today's review is actually a really, really requested review. A lot of people already have it and want to know my opinion, so I said, all right, and we're doing a review on the E-Leaf iStick 20 Watt Mod. Hey guys, Tia here, and today we are looking at the E-Leaf iStick. This was really, really, really requested by a lot of you for me to take a look at. So here I have it. It is a 20 watt mod. It goes from 2 watts to 20 watts. It is also a variable voltage device, so that goes from 3 volts to 5.5 volts. Now this thing is so super small. Let me give you a size comparison. Okay, the love of my life, the ePower version 3 versus the E-Leaf iStick and the MVP versus the E-Leaf iStick. So, this is by E-Leaf or iSmoka, it's the same thing. Um, this actually does come in four different colors, silver, black, blue, and they call it red, but it looks pink, which that's the one I wanted. So here is the micro USB charge port, and it is a 510 connection. Here is the 510 connection, and it comes with an a 510 to Ego connector, adapter, so you can have Ego style tanks on here. I got my Nautilus Mini on here. So here is the interface. It shows the battery life, the ohms, the voltage, and the wattage. Right now it is in adjustable wattage mode, and that can be adjusted by 0.1 increments all the way up to 20 watts. But I am vaping on the Aspire Nautilus Mini, so 20 watts is not really suited for the, uh, this atomizer. But if you want to go into voltage mode, then you just have to press you just press the fire button three times. It also counts the seconds of your puff, so. Two point six seconds for that puff. And right now I'm going to set it up to nine watts, which is where I like my wattage for the Aspire Nautilus Mini. It's just, it's so freaking tiny. It, I like it, I mean, it fits nicely in the hand, and even like to fire it, it's comfortable, it's cute, it's small, and it comes in pink, and I didn't get the pink one, but yeah, this is super cool, and I fell in love with the e-power right away, and then I fell in love with my Zample box box mod, which is actually a 30 watt. Um, oh, and this cannot sub ohm. It can go down to one ohm. It can't go lower than that. But you can still put a rebuildable on it as long as the coils that you're building in there aren't below one ohm. It's a 2200 milliamp per hour battery. great power behind the vape and this is so little and cute. Oh, and it is a pass-through device, so for those of you who don't want to put your vape down while it's charging, you can still vape while it's charging. I love it. I really do, and so many of you guys were like, try it, try it, review it, you'll love it, I have it, I love it. You guys are right. I love it, it's cute. I just, um, I have to use it for a little bit before I can say if I super love it or not. Um, if you guys want, I can come back and do an update review like I did with the ePower version 3. I could use it for like a month or three weeks and then come back and give you guys my impression after using it. And I don't know, it's, it's small and it's powerful and I think I'm falling in love with it, but I am really attached to my Zample Box box mod because it's just so cool and bright and green. It's a great vape. I wish I would have got the pink one. I want to thank E-Leaf iSmoka for sending me this for review. I am sure I'm going to enjoy it. I just, this is the first time I even took it out of the box to really look at it. So I'm going to turn it up a little bit to 10 watts. So this is my first look of the E-Leaf iStick and so far so good. It's so little. Something so little with a capability of going up to 20 watts. Ooh. 
love it. Um, I believe you can go to eLeaf's website and it's like 50 bucks for it. That's without shipping or handling. I don't know what that would uh, accumulate to, but it's like $49.99. Um, I'm going to do some looking around and put a link below to like a good, a pretty good price for this because I, I'm sure there's other places out there that sell it for cheaper. And so I'll put a link below when I find a good link for you guys, maybe a coupon code. If there are any, if there's anything, any questions you have, any information that I did not include in this review and a question you have about the E-Leaf eye stick, please comment below and I will try my best to find you an answer. I think I like to hold it this way and push with my pointer finger. Or like this. I either like hold it like this, it feels comfortable like this, and it feels comfortable like this. And this it's like kind of like I'm not gonna drop it, you know? But then I might accidentally hit the up and down buttons. I don't know if there's a way to lock it. That should probably be important. Hold the up and down arrow at the same time, it shows version one. Well, there you guys have it. There's my first look of the E Leaf eye stick. I really do like it for my first impression of it. Uh, definitely a thumbs up. I'll put a link below if you want to check it out. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please stay tuned to my channel for more reviews. Subscribe if you like what you see. And as always, thank you so much for watching, guys.